Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be making Keto Banku using a recipe I found on YouTube. The basic ingredients used for the Banku were cauliflower, sauerkraut, and rolled oats. I substituted the rolled oats for the oats flour because I didn't have any. The first thing I did was chop up the cauliflower and blend it with some water. You can do this step in batches like I did if your blender isn't large. After blending, I added my sauerkraut and oats flour and blended it all together again. So there was an option to replace the sauerkraut with white vinegar, but I decided to add both for the fermented taste of authentic mango as closely as possible. The cooking process with the keto banku is the same as cooking banku or even meat fufu. At this moment, I realized that my mixture was a little thin. So I added more oat flour to give more body and I try not to go overboard with it to prevent the taste of oats from overpowering it. So it cooked a little over 12 minutes and I knew that it could have been firmer but I realized that once it cools down it will be firm enough to be able to grab when eating. Now what's banku without some pepper? So I made some fresh grinded pepper with scotch bonnet, onions and tomatoes because it's my favorite way to eat it. I also grilled some tilapia to complete my meal. So back to the keto banku. Overall I think I executed it right but I didn't enjoy it because I could taste the vegetables. My roommates enjoyed it though, so I think it's just a matter of preference. The sauerkraut and the white vinegar did a good job of imitating the authentic uncle's fermented taste. 
but it wasn't the seamless recreation I was hoping for. I believe it's a healthy alternative if you do try it and enjoy it. So overall, I would suggest this to anyone who is trying to make a lifestyle change. Uh, who knows, you might like it better than I did, like my roommate did. And yeah, thanks for tuning in and I'll be back with more soon. Bye.